Hello everybody, welcome to a tropical update here. This is what's currently going on in uh, the tropics worldwide right now. we got two things to watch here. We now got remnants low at tropical, uh, where, where we got remnant low, Danilo right now ongoing in the southwest Indian Ocean. And we also got the newly formed Invest 98S in the southwest Indian Ocean, which has a low chance of tropical cyclone development. You can see here, tropical cyclone development unlikely within the next 24 hours according to the data we see on that but of course uh, we'll keep an eye on it and uh, you know it may develop here we'll have to wait and see on that but of course the main thing to talk about right now is now a uh, tropical uh, women at low uh, Danilo here this is the final advisory to JTWC will be issuing on this tropical cyclone or it used to be a tropical cyclone I should say I'm um, going to have it as a 25 knot uh, tropical depression equivalent storm which is about 30 miles per hour and it forecast to continue on its southwestern heading there and eventually whatever's left of it um, affect the Mercer's and Lawyer in here um, uh, later on the line in the next day or two here and as you can see in this forecast cone uh, the storm is going uh, north of the island of Rodrigues and uh, since this storm has uh, at least the JTWC uh, turned into a remnant low system you guys are not lo are no longer forecast to get any tropical storm conditions of any kind uh, from this system and um, I think probably the most you'll get from this system is maybe some scattered rainfall and uh, maybe some increased rip currents along the coastline, um, at least is what I see uh, happening for you guys on the island of Rodriguez. Um, so really fortunate scenario in that case, how the system's really kind of falling apart in the last 24, 36 hours here, and uh, now has led to its, um, at least the JTWC's um, thoughts on it, led to its uh, pretty much dissipation here at this point. And I'll show you a satellite here, and you can easily see why the JTWC is no longer going to be issuing advisories on this system. And uh, you can see, well, actually, try to find a cyclone here. To try to find a remnant low tropical. Try, try to find a remnant low system here. Um, it's right here where mouse cursor is. Is right there. Is where um, what used to be a tropical storm Danilo is. Is right there on on uh, in uh, water vapor imagery off of Mateo Sat Eight. So. <laughs> really again fortunate news to see the cyclone has really just gone downhill dramatically within the next within the past again 24 36 hours here if it's live here's the infrared satellite imagery of the system there and uh, you can see the center of circulation a little bit better there and again the center of circulation is just north of this little uh, dot you see there that dot is the island of Rodriguez and the storm is to the north of Rodriguez at this point in time you can see that a little bit better on visible imagery here, the center of circulation or whatever is left of the center of circulation, I should say. Um, it's really devoid and uh, really lacking any convection uh, there, as you can see. It's really only consisting of some high cirrus clouds that are spinning around uh, there. So, um, again, really fortunate news to see the storm has... Uh, weakened significantly here and you can see a closer look at uh, visible satellite imagery here and uh, again you can just see a really uh, disorganized system uh, hence why the data we see is no longer going to be issuing advisories for this what used to be a tropical storm Danilo so uh, incredible to see that and again you can see the island of Rodriguez right there to uh, the south of uh, what used to be a tropical cyclone Danilo there and um, in terms of effects, um, those of you guys in Mauritius Law Reunion, uh, I'll probably expect some maybe occasional or occasional to maybe scattered rainfall um, at most from this storm or whatever is left of this storm, I should say. Um, and uh, maybe some increased rip current activity along the coastline. And uh, other than that, I would say that's probably about it in terms of the effects you guys are going to get from this storm. Uh, really fortunate in this case how this system just really went down on a sharp decline uh, especially in the last 24 36 hours here um so really good news for those of you guys in Rodriguez, Mauritius, and Lower Union here um for a trop tropical storm what used to be a tropical storm the nail here really good news for you guys uh, how the storm has uh, gone down below tropical storm intensity and is likely if it hasn't dissipated already likely going to dissipate very soon here so that's pretty much about it for this tropical update with uh, that being said um if you have any questions or comments then then the comments links are below and i try to answer them to the best of my ability and if you want to know what websites and sites that are used for this tropical update they're down in the description below go ahead and click on some of them and it'll take you to some of the websites uh, that are used for that i used for this tropical update and that i use for tracking uh, tropical weather in general um here worldwide so if you're curious just Click on those links down below uh, to get some of the latest information on storms like this when they do happen. So, uh, 
that's pretty much about it for this tropical update. Again, a uh, quick summary. Um, the needle has, uh, according to the data we see at least, gone down to remnant low status. And if it hasn't dissipated already, it's going to dissipate really soon here. Um, and in terms of effects for you guys on Rodrigues, uh, the most I could see from uh, Danilo, whatever's left of Danilo happening to you guys, is um, again, maybe some uh, more scattered rainfall, maybe some increased recurrent activity along the coastline. And uh, the same story is probably gonna, going to be uh, happening with, the same thing is probably going to ha be happening with uh, Mauritius and La Reunion. Uh, again, whatever's left of this storm, we might get some occasional, maybe scattered showers from whatever's left of it. Um, and maybe some increased recurrent activity along the coastlines is probably about the most I would expect uh, from this system at this point. So, again, uh, that's pretty much about it for this topical update here. If you have any questions or comments, uh, again, leave them down in the comment section below. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So, um, yeah. So, hope everybody has a great day and night with Gazar. Stay safe, of course. Until then, see you guys in the next video. Peace.